Okay, so what's next? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure our Xbox 360 to access Xbox Live, which, as you probably already know, is Microsoft's internet service, which allows you to use your Xbox to access all their content, their games, etc., etc. While it's possible to connect to Xbox Live without the proper port forwarding setting, some of the content may get a little flaky if you don't have all the proper ports open. So we're going to go ahead and configure our router to allow us to access an optimized connection to Xbox Live. And to do that, we actually only have to concern ourselves with four ports, one of which is already open for us, that being the port 80 or HTTP port. Okay, before we go any further with our port forwarding settings, I want to make sure that there's no confusion about how our DHCP reservation for the Xbox 360 was created. Now, as you know, we start off by choosing an IP address, we give it a name, and then we give it a MAC address. So the question in the back of your mind may be, where do you get the MAC address? This is not like a regular computer. And the answer is, well, that depends. It depends on how you're connecting your Xbox 360 to your network. So we're going to go into the console and we're going to take a look at that. But first, we want to make sure that our console is set to receive a DHCP address. And this simply involves going into our network settings in the console and selecting either automatic or manual. Okay, from the welcome screen, we go to system settings, then network settings, and we go to configure network, and then we go to IP settings. From here, it's a simple matter of choosing automatic. And as we can see now, our IP address is now 123, and we want that to change to 136. Okay, now that that's done, we need to go back in and find our MAC address. And this can be in one of two places. Okay, there are actually two network interfaces on the Xbox 360. A wired interface and a wireless interface. If you're using the wireless adapter that you can buy specially made for the Xbox 360, then you want to use the wireless MAC address. If you're plugging into a router with an Ethernet cable or you're connecting to a game adapter, then you want to use the wired MAC address. Here we see the wired MAC address. If we go to wireless information, that's the MAC address we use with the wireless adapter. Okay, now after all that's done and we've created our DHCP reservation on our router, we want to reboot the console and make sure that it picks up the correct IP address. Okay, so once again we go into system settings, network settings, and the IP settings. And configure network. We want to go in here and we want to make sure that our IP address is now 136, and it is. Okay, now that all that's taken care of and we have a DHCP reservation on our router, which we know points to our Xbox 360, we can go to port forwarding, port triggering, and create our port forwarding rules for the Xbox 360 to access Xbox Live. So if we go into the service names on this particular router, Xbox 360 is not a service. It is not a standard port. It's not a well-known port. We're going to have to create a custom service. Xbox Live wants ports 53, port 80, port 88, and port 3074 to be open in order to connect to Xbox Live. So we're going to actually end up creating four custom services. So let's just call the first one Xbox Live 1. And TCP or UDP Unless otherwise specified, you can pretty much always go with both. So the first port Xbox Live wants is 3074. And since this is not a range of ports, we just type in the same thing for the ending port. And then we ha simply have 
that traffic forwarded to our Xbox 360, which according to our DTP reservation is 136. Simply click. And there we have our new entry. So let's add another line in here and then we're going to call this Xbox Live 2. And the next port that they want is port 88. Tab down, port 88. One, three, six. Click apply. And the next port that we want is Xbox Live 3. Starting port is 53. 53. Send that to 136. 